always kind of this, even, even in this moment, as this backside is lost, then you have this. And this becomes the backside to the front side of the leg. You see, that's the backside to the front side of the leg, which makes this the greediest point going forth, a kind of perfect reinjection spot for a move up, right? And we can even go to a different time frame. You can see the greediest point that's not tested on a 15. See if it comes back. See? Backside of this leg, front side of this leg, right? So you've got this duality and this range bind in these moves where you have front sides and back sides of legs. And you can even see here that this does bounce. It's just very weak, right? Like that's a level that's going to be tested. So you define this as a, you know, a level that will be tested. Look at this and, you know, how'd you put a buy order here? There's a nice little trade here. It's, it's not bleeding a profits. Not every single, single trade is going to be, you know, five and 6%, but you're going to have all these bounces on different spots in your charts, right? And it's about to finding and identifying where they happen. You know, I'm sure you're sure in this moment here, you would have had something like this, like you've got the top of the lake here, which means this is the backside of this range right here would be the backside of this range. Let's go to the five minute, actually make sure this is quite clear. So you have the lake here. Yeah. And so you'd have the backside range right here. So this comes targets it. Yeah. falls a little short. That's fine. You're going to have, you know, a few dollars off here. What is that? 97 to 97 and a half to 201 and a half. So four dollars short. It's perfectly fine. One range attacks the next range, and then it stabilizes against that. And you know, it would have would have had its own interior range in, inside of this candle somewhere else, and so forth and so forth. Right? Yeah. See, it actually once it attacks this, it's already gone. Right? So, so you're actually just going after the next. Come on, trading view. You're just actually going after the next part of its range, right? So you're actually just going after trying to capture. Ah, magnet tool is not on. That's this. That's why things are feeling funny. So you're, you know, you're going to have the backside here against the front side here, backside of the leg versus the front side, right? So backside leg bounces, right? Nice little trade, you know, a couple percent there. And it's going to go against its range, wherever the range defined in, inside of this is. You can continue to look at this. And then before a large move up, I wonder if this actually comes back down and tests. I don't think it does. Even here in this moment, you can see where, you know, you would have had the backside of the range here against what would have been the front side of the range here, right? Front side of the range, back side of the range. So even I, I would actually wonder if there's something inside of here that got tested on a micro time frame. Something like this needs to be tested. So as long as I suppose you could say this, but the real key is as long as this doesn't get touched, I suppose that's fine. But even so, technically this 5,009 level was never touched. So I would wonder if this 5,009 level was actually just first tested or if this was actually just a leg that was untested and it starts a ladder here. Let's maybe just go to a higher time frame. It was a little too slow for my liking. And we lost our spot on the charts. Okay, trading view. That's fine. We were right here and this was gone. I don't know why we still have that one there. This is the one we had just marked around this 5,009 level right here. And we were simply just seeing if this range is, is holding and, and that's fine. So be it. You have your, your targets on your chart, your front side and back sides of legs as your moves develop. Even, you know, you can look at the good way to spot these is like this. You have the top of a move. Okay. So you have the top of a move, which, and, and what we're going to do is we're going to take this off and we're going to define like the top and bottom of this move. We're going to define the two legs of the move. So, so this is the leg down. This is the leg up, right? Okay. So, so this becomes a break target. This becomes a break target. Both sides. These are both break targets. Okay. So, so that's fine. Where is the front and back side of the leg? Let's, let's simply find that. Here's the back side on the higher time frame, So you can see where the back side bounces, right? And here is, oops. Here is the front side of the leg. Quite frankly, we know that as long as one of these hold levels holds the move, we're good to move up, right? We're, we're going to continuously move up. And then even, even here in this moment, this would have been the front side of this leg and so forth. So the, the way you start this is you always kind of just start by defining where is the leg of the move. So we define the leg of the move and then we go and we find the backside and front side. So we find the backside and we find the front side. When we're looking at this in the replayer tool, 
let's go and move it to right here. You have to find these moments, right? Like you've defined those moments because your leg is right here, so you know it's going to be somewhere in there. You can even go to uh, smaller time frames here. And go right here because that would have actually been where the, uh, the leg of the move is. You can see what happens here. That would have done the same thing against its range right here, right? Like it would have targeted this to hold the move down. So it would have targeted the backside of its leg. And let's verify that on time frames. Yeah, you see, it's the same thing. Like you start with the leg of the move. And I wonder if even if on the hourly, there's not really a leg there. This is kind of rejecting off this range. I'm sure it hit some, some range bind in there. I would say as long as you have the proper valley, come on, trading view. So as long as you have the proper range defined, like we know that this is going to define this and we need to find the front side and backside leg on this side. So then you'd have something like this. You'd have backside right here, which is already rejected, which makes your time frames here, which then, then you'd even have like something even more. So actually, you don't have anything. You'd have like backside, front side combination like this. Right? So it does go after the greediest level. As long as it doesn't hit the leg, that's all we need to know. It's laddering down, right? And then so it goes after that, right? Which is the uh, front side, back side on a larger time frame. It goes after its level. Go back to the uh, larger time frame where we found that. 15 minute. It was on the hourly. Okay, that's fine. Backside, front side. And you can see both bounces, you know, very clearly on this. There it is. You can see the front side, back side, and uh, even this sort of had a front side, back side here, and this is untested. It comes very close, but e either way, you've got kind of a, a plethora of levels there. And this is already tested too. This back side range right here is already, well, this would be the front side range as to where this would be the back side range. This would be the uh, first back side range, and this would be the front side range. And this is already tested, so this is you know, already meant to break in your you know, Pandora's boxing, as, as we call it. Now you guys understand that there's uh, a little bit more to Pandora's box than meets the eye, right? So then you're still kind of, um, you know, range bound by this and that's fine. I mean, this is already tested. It can't hold the move up. And then, you know, you just break straight over. Very much the case where you don't have anything in here that's binding the move, right? You don't, you don't have anything in this candle that's binding the move. So there, there is no front side, back side range of this candle due to the time on it. Like if you look at this thing, there might be like a, like if we were to mark this, okay, let's just kind of theorize here. If we were to mark this here and this here, there might be some kind of range inside of here. This is already tested, so it's not that. So we can say it's for sure in between here. Right, so we can say, okay, backside, front side. You could say this is the greediest level that's untested. Backside, front side. Even this, I'm like questioning because of the time frames, like one minute candles. Yikes, that's a little, it's a little worrying, right? Like one minute candles. I don't know about that. We can look at how it reacts in this moment, but I, I don't think we're going to see anything overly surprising here. I think you're just going to maybe touch these levels and move off a little bit and have quite small reactions. Like this one is already, we don't need this. I'm not sure why that was to define the range. Yeah. So that's fine. You have the backside of the range being tested right here. Pretty thin though, in my opinion, pretty, 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 pretty darn thin. And then even this would have the, its own backside front side range, right? So like even that would try to hold this might not even get to that point. And even this has like, this is why I'm saying like, I'm not really certain I would trust those levels because it's pretty thin. Like it's pretty thin on the charts. Yeah, fine. You have these like reactions where you could take some scalps, but you know, what are you talking about here? Half a percent? Yeah, half a percent. This one too, like maybe a 1% move. One, this one wasn't as bad, but, but th th this is really thin. This is really grasping. Like I'm not, you know, seeing five minute levels and trading every single one of them. Level, level halves has to make sense, right? Like you have to make sense of, of the level. You can't just trade it because it's there. So then even if we go here and we, uh, you know, start, start redefining these ranges on higher timeframes, you know, you're going to have something like 
this, which is going to break the move, right? So if this is going to break the move, which technically you could be here on a different, we're on a four minute. So actually I'd like to see a little deeper inside of this. So you have, mark this to this, the top, kind of mark this to this and see what's inside there. Where's the kind of the final valley in the move? The kind the final valley, like 15 minute valley. I don't know. I don't, I don't really think you're going to be holding anything after that final valley in the move. Right. And then you have the range that would define that, which there really isn't a range on this move. Like there's, um, see if there's any other ranges. Or not really. You kind of have between this here and this here, and I don't really think there's going to be any ranges in there. I mean, we can check. We can check. Okay, fine. We can check. If this is the greediest point of the move, this is the, uh, the point where it would be protecting the move. I mean, this is already tested. I don't know if we can really go any deeper, but th this is... Okay, fine. So this can potentially hold the entire move up, right? This is the front side of the leg. There's really no backside here. The, the move was too volatile. So you have the front side. Maybe we can find something else. I don't know. I guess we could look. I don't know if I'd be trading three-minute candles in here, though. Oh, boy. This is getting pretty thin. This is like the final valley. So backside, front side, valley. One minute charts, ah, that's pretty thin, guys. But hey, okay, fine. Let's let's go. Let's roll with it. I don't know. Let's get out of the replayer tool. Oops, no, no, we don't want to do that. We just want to use a replayer tool. Yes, we want to exit this mode and see what had happened here. Yeah, so you have the first level. Hit, small pullback, second level hit, pullback, third level hit. So same thing, just, just like this would define this range, try to move it up and it tries to hold it and it doesn't. It uh, can't quite hold the move up and I'm sure there's uh, you know, some, something deeper in here. I mean, you could probably go and, and find the level in, in here. You know, The greediest level on the leg would be right here. And this is already even broken, so this is actually not looking that great. It's already uh, breaking the move. Yeah, it's already breaking the move, so it doesn't look great. Even on these small time frames, you'd, you'd have very much the same thing. You'd have the uh, front side, back side of the legs. You can uh, find a few of them in the, in the current part of the move. You'd start with this, but this is already kind of tested and gone. So we can delete this, we can delete this. That's fine. That'll be kind of like a target or whatever. You've got the leg right here, the uh, untested range. Everything else is pretty tested in this, in, this, in this move, right? Like even you have this right here. This is untested. So even you have this right here already tested. Everything in this move is likely already, already tested. It has been moving back and forth quite, quite a bit here. You know, this is already tested, comes, bounces off of it. This is tested, comes, bounces off of it. This is untested right here. But one minute candles is as good as a one minute move, right? So um, yeah, not looking too great. Actually, it looks like it's just breaking down right now. It looks like it's created its base and it's going to break down off of this level. It'll target something like this 63.23, hopefully, and pull back and create a downtrend. It's what it looks like anyways. Or it might go after this target again. It's very possible that it goes after this and officially touches it, I suppose. Therefore, you have front and backside legs. You have even even here in this moment. Find your valleys, and you'll 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 find the injection points, right? Like, oops, nothing on the three minute. Here's the one minute. This right here, right? Like your your injection point. Right? You'd have. Oh, well, where did that one go? Okay, it's up there. Okay, perfect. You know, even here you have this right here, and and so so you have ladders. But now you understand front and backside legs, and and that there is hold levels that define what this move is going to do, right? Like there's, there's hold levels that will define the entirety of these moves. And backside leg here is holding, and uh, this would actually have the front side leg as well. So, so, so we know it's going to be between that candle and this candle here, so we can actually even get rid of that. 
it's going to be between these two candles, the greediest point of entry. And uh, then we just have to, so, so it's a matter of defining the uh, greediest point, which would kind of be here on a smaller than one minute time frame, but it would be tough. You know, this would be kind of perfect entry, 61.49 right here. Kind of an untested range. Could possibly say it's here on a different time frame that we don't have access to. Like right there. 